Hey, what's up guys? I'm Hunter SC, and we are going to upgrade this Demon Souls walkthrough to a speed guide. I'm going to try to get through the content basically as fast as we can. And, um, I mean, that's not necessarily to say that I'm going to run through everything. I mean, this is completely optional over here. This is actually just a soul, if I uh, remember correctly. But you know what? We like to explore, grab as much treasure as we can during these runs. And, um, you know, try to keep it informative, entertaining, but, you know, high level of skill and just good knowledge on the area is what I aim to bring you guys uh, in these episodes. We have had some technical difficulties tonight, but we've gone through them all. I am recording, and uh, I'm really happy to bring this uh, particular episode to you guys. So this is 3-2. Why don't we just test our might against uh, this one gargoyle? Man, you can see the stability on this shield is just trash. I, I hold it up to block that, and uh, it drained half my stamina. Even my, I mean, my weapon itself, like, that was a lot of swings it has taken to kill this guy. Um, I haven't really had the luxury to do any farming whatsoever for this character. This character we've been uh, working on for quite a while, but, you know, I haven't been farming any souls. The only thing I've done off camera is, like, grind out the the consumable souls and like uh, level up all of which my latest uh, points were spent uh, all of those points were spent in vitality actually um, yeah no real surprise there survivability uh, I, I don't have any real reason to kill off uh, that first gargoyle at least um, we do want to grab a weapon over here you'll probably want to grab this one too the flameberg uh, that is just another name for... Oh, shoot. I almost fell off the edge a couple times there. Uh, there are other names for this sword. The one in Dark Souls is called the Svander. Svander! Sh uh, guys, I'm not even going to attempt a German accent. It's just awful. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very similar sword. It's like an executioner sword, right? Two-hander. Very hard-hitting. Uh, good against armored opponents. It also uh, can and knock them down, you know, just land them flat on their face, uh, which gives you another opening for when they're standing up, you know. So it's a very useful sword, uh, largely for strength builds, although I, it may have a dex parameter as well. So that's the only useful item we've found so far. We're going to head up this uh, elevator and uh, begin working away at the, the heart of uh, this zone, so to speak. Guys, I'm so bad. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there are, there are two points, uh, in this zone you gotta hit to, uh, well, y you'll see, you'll see, you're, you're hacking away at these heart chains, I'm not even exactly sure, uh, how to describe it, but I think the cinematics will do a, a better job of articulating, um, <laughs> the contraption itself. Still avoiding gargoyles, okay, fine, fine, we'll, we'll get rid of this one. Um... Now, it doesn't matter, I think, if you knock them off. Oh, jeez, I'm almost going to fall off myself. Um, yeah, of course, these guys can fly, so knocking them off the edge, not uh, entirely useful. Having a bow is definitely handy against these guys, but uh, uh, not, not an item we have. We have decent survivability, though. Uh, I am playing in human form. Uh, which, you know, is a little bit risky depending on uh, what your goals are, you know. Um, if you die in a world in human form, it shifts the world's tendency towards black. And, um, yeah, if you, if you do that even one or two times, basically eliminates the opportunity to get pure white world tendency. But that's like a really specific uh, kind of goal, kind of high level, and, you know, not everyone needs to be concerned with it. So these are the chains I'm talking about. Man, this game has some uh, some pretty uh, just crazy stuff going on. Dark imagery and the I mean we're, we're we're trying to dismantle some kind of massive demonic heart that uh, is um, you know bringing all kinds of of problems. The Tower of Latria, really uh really violent. Like so much blood and bodies and stuff on the ground. Like. W w this game is far more gruesome than uh, the spiritual successor. Now, you can actually take the elevators over there. Um, 
but we don't want to quite uh, head down to the uh, swamp just yet. First, we have to talk to this NPC here. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. So, I guess we can take this guy, you know, on his word that he is here to fight the demons as well. Uh, we've let him out of the jail cell, but um, trust me, the best... Uh, the best choice here is to just kill them all. Well, what have we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Enemies in in Demon Souls have a different, uh, or sorry, NPCs rather have like a different tolerance well, what have we here? Do you wish to, to die abuse. So soon? And look at that, two backstabs, and you're here still not hostile. Unbelievable. Come on. You won't fight me. Oh, shoot. Oh. Thought I hurled him off the edge, which I didn't really want to do. Well. I guess... I guess this was much easier than I had anticipated. We have his armor. And, um, I forgot to put on a helmet earlier, but it's no big deal. Wearing his armor is too heavy, but, um, I can, I can put on a helmet, just can't wear his armor quite yet. Glad to have his armor, it's a, it's a good alternative to the fluted armor, of which I didn't actually even pick up the chest piece in that last episode. Too bad. Some of you are probably confused, like, uh, why did I kill that guy? He's an assassin. And him and, along with Mephistopheles, um, they make their way to the Nexus, and their only goal is to, you know, kill its inhabitants. So it really is just best to uh, get rid of Yurt right away. Uh, if you don't, yeah, NPCs in the Nexus just start dying, and you can't use them anymore. So, yeah, get rid of them. He's, uh, he's an evil one. Down in the swamp, there isn't, you know, anything too exciting. The Fragrant Ring, that's not bad. I mean, um, you can also get this ring. You can buy this ring off of, uh, I think the Merchant in 3-1. But anyways, so we've got the ring. There's some other pieces lying around. Uh, I don't uh, want to spend too much time down here, actually, just because I sometimes uh, forget how to where the ramp is to get up on that dock. Oh, shoot. So this, uh... This abomination has sort of two attack modes. The one here with flailing limbs, you know, uh, wielding all sorts of weapons. And then this second one here, which is gonna have that magic missile. Anyways, I, don't, I can't kill it at range. And fighting it melee is, like, really really hard you're probably gonna die um, doing that especially at this kind of level so we found the ramp last time I was down here it took me a while um, maybe I had taken one of the different uh, elevators and uh, these guys are actually uh, sort of the devolved version of you know the, the, this the same type of creature you find in Dark Souls and Blight Town very similar like, it's an uncanny resemblance. Um, let's see what's over here. Ephemeral eyes. Nothing too exciting. Some more souls. And we're going to continue along here. I don't think there is uh, any extra loot that's too exciting down there. Uh, there, there is one more ring, but it's like a poison ring or something poison resist. So, not the end of the world. Oops. I just realized, uh, 
Well, or, or maybe I was just seeing things. I thought that the tail, the severed tail, actually attacked me. But I think it just moved at the same time as, as the enemy attacking. Anyways, got a fog gate here, but first, just souls and maybe an upgrading chunk. No, dark moon grass. Definitely the uh, the best moon grass. It gives you full health and uh, gets rid of any poison or plague or uh, bleeding, anything like that. Any status effects. More bloody bodies as we make our way up from the swamp. You can actually hear that heart beating, man. It is creepy. Do we have a black phantom coming up? I think we do. We do. How does creeping work in this game? You know? Oh, it's too slow. I can't even catch him like this. Whatever. We'll just run on up. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best strategy for dealing with these guys. Um, he could very well one-shot me. He's quite predictable if you dodge that uh, electric orb. Because he will always pretty much run after it. Standing a little bit too close there. And... Um, Taking a good amount of damage. Oh no. Okay, I think we got this. Okay, so he was not, uh, you know, a huge problem for us, although we did get a taste of his, uh, his damage. I've got good health regen going on right now as well. Uh, because I don't need to wear the cling ring, I, uh, I've got that regenerator's ring on. And I've also got the adjudicator's shield, so... Um, decent health regen, definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on that crystal lizard. Oops. Okay. So I want to get the crystal lizard. There are a few more enemies up there. So we'll just see if we can run by. Oh, man. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm... This is very unfortunate right now. These guys have really annoyed me. I... I... I what's going on here? Oh, man. I'm, I'm disoriented. I'm, I'm stressed out because of that crystal lizard taunting me. But um, let's let's get things back on track here. Okay, getting rid of those guys. <clears throat> Little annoyed about that crystal lizard, but we'll forget about it. I can't believe how many times I swung at it, just hitting nothing but air. Brutal. Okay, we're making our way to the second, um, the second chain link. See if we can catch this elevator before the gargoyle gets here. Peace. Okay. Same deal up here. Got a, a group of worshippers that are, 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 are powering this chain in, in one way or, or the other. Just gonna run on up. I have a feeling a gargoyle may join us in a moment. But again, getting rid of these guys. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so this is what we have to contend with soon. It's a massive downed heart. Oh man, and it is just producing all of this hell spawn. 
grimy. Okay. Continuing on here, we can just grab probably more souls. Roll on down. So now we're back at the beginning again, essentially. And um, you, you have two options here. You can head down and um, grab some loot. Uh, I mean, what's really the point in even doing that? You get the Epe Rapier, which I, I don't know. I don't really need it. Need it. You also get the uh, gold mask that Mephistopheles wears as well. So you would just go straight down here, down the stairs to the heart. It's really obvious. I'm not going to run it though, just because this boss is really hard. <clears throat> And um, if I need to take more than one attempt on the boss, then I don't really want to waste time uh, just picking up a few pieces of loot and upgrading shards down there. And loot that I, I'm not really going to be using anyway, so. Now that uh, we've we've downed that heart there, uh, you know, the, the blockade is gone. We can head up these stairs. And um, we will keep an eye out for the Black Phantom. Oh, there he is. So we can see him. Uh, way off in the distance, of course. This is a tough one. Like, this is a narrow staircase. So you can obviously see. I don't know. We're just going to wing it. That's not going to work, eh? I can't get by him like that, huh? Okay, he's going to run now, right? I'm trying to get behind him. I need, I, I need a backstab. Or maybe it would be best just to lure him all, like all the way down. Oh, I've got, I've got the thief's ring on. I don't know if, if the thief's ring works on black phantoms, because there's a separate uh, grave robber ring for that. I don't know how best to deal with this guy. Oh, go <laughs> so long. Oh man, quite the fall for that guy. I didn't see that coming at all. Like, I just started swinging at him with, you know, this sort of, um, th this what, what what weapon am I using? Falchion? No. Oh yeah, the crescent falchion. You know, I wouldn't think it would be so hard hitting to send that black phantom flying like that. But uh, you know, I'm more than happy to have that happen. Okay, so we're almost at the boss here. Maybe we are at the boss. So uh, there's some souls down there, I think. Okay, there's a boss uh, battle. I'm obviously uh, a little apprehensive, a little intimidated even, man. This isn't an easy boss fight. All right, let's do it. Guess we're gonna let him come to us. Now, I don't know if the second man eater spawns um, on a timer or when this boss has a certain amount of health. I'm, I sort of tend to think the latter, uh, simply because that's how it works against the gargoyles. This isn't going to be easy, guys. Like, or whatever. Let's, let's just put that out of our mind. Oh, man. This isn't good. I don't want to just freaking flop like this. This is awful. So it seems that I can stun him if I get, you know, yeah, I can get a bit of a stun lock going there. Come on. Whoa, okay. Haven't seen that attack before. I'm using rolls pretty well lately. I have to fight two of these guys, man. Oh, this is no good. Oh, his tail came off. I didn't know you could do that in this game. Oh, okay, so there you go. You get him below half health, and all of a sudden you're dealing with two. So we've 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 got the the low HP one labeled without a tail. 
So we're definitely going to want to focus him down first. Oh, shh. Alright, I don't know how that didn't hit me, to be honest. Alright, guys. You know, I, I think we can do this. It's it's not going to be quick. Oh, I'd say, say that. I just get blasted with those, those air projectiles. These guys are attacking me while they're floating around. Like, I can't not hit this guy right now. I don't even know which one he is. Let's see what happens if I bring the fight over here. Maybe this is actually a, a smarter place to engage them. Alright, so that's the fresh one. Again, we want to get this guy with the broken tail. Oh, man. As long as they like to disappear, you know, while well, just fly away, I guess, briefly. Okay. Oh, here he is. Man, I'm gonna start having a resort to Crescent Moongrass. I guess, oh man, that's such a little piece of... <laughs> Crescent Moongrass is like... 8% of my health bar. This is gonna, this is gonna get bad. <sighs> it's a bit of a slow boss fight. I'm just trying to find opportunities to get any damage off on uh, the one. Okay, well, his buddy now is just wandering into a pillar. You know what? If he's going to just kind of glitch out and, and do that, he's more than welcome to. Oh, look at him. He's completely bugged out over there. Look at this. This is uh, a good opportunity for us. Oh, no. He's back. Kill off his buddy quick. Here we go. Oh no, I'm getting... Oh no! 